Hi friends, hello, hello, I'm Lindsay and I'm back with another super quick hair tutorial. I wore my hair like this today and several of you asked, how did you do that? It could not be easier. So I'm gonna walk you through just the basic half up top knot, throw in a little hair scarf, you feel extra sassy and it won't take you more than a minute to do. So here goes. Okay friends, so here goes. This is my like second or third day hair. I just used a curling wand to curl all of it, holding up sort of just this top section. I curled pieces of it, but you don't have to if you don't want to. I like that curling it and I feel like a little bit of dry shampoo and texture spray gives me a little bit more volume, but just use the curl wand or you can use a curling iron. I will put a link to my uh, curl wand tutorial. Really easy to use. I love the Kristen S one from Target. I think what makes a really big difference with you want dirty hair. I think it works best and it's a really great way to stretch your hair in between washes to have a few different styles, go-to styles that you can do that are really quick and easy. And this is one for me and I absolutely love it. So I think the key is how much hair you take. I think if you take too much, you look, it feels a little bit more um, like little girl if you take way too much. And if you take too little, then it feels like infant too, right? Like it's just, you gotta get just the right amount. So I think how you, how much you want to take, in my opinion, is sort of kind of just a little bit more than half over your eyebrow. I think that's the most flattering on me. So I'm going back from like right here and having those sections. The beauty of it is it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm sort of going straight back to um, probably about three quarters to the back of my head. So again, just right over your eyebrows, going straight back. And then from here, you can tease a little bit of the back of this if you feel like you need some more volume. You can for sure tease this up. Mine's got some good texture going to it. Then you can take one of the scrunchy hair ties that I love or just one of these little thin elastics. And then you're gonna do just like we do with the top knot. You're gonna pull it through, you're gonna twist this bottom half, and then bring it back through. So you're creating this just kind of messy part up here. You're gonna pull on it just to get it how you want it. Then from here, I think you really wanna pull some of this forward. I don't like it tight against my hair. I mean, my roots that need to be done and all, but I love having a little bit more volume. And then just pulling on this until you get it how you want it. I love to pull out like some of these baby hairs, pulling out a little bit more of this around my face. Super easy, you can just leave it like that, tucking in that bottom piece. Again, it's just sort of that twist and zhuzh a little bit until you get it how you want it. But I love, <laughs> <laughs> in the background, sneaking in. Had to get something. Say hi. Had to get that speaker. Had to get a speaker. Okay. <laughs> this is mom life, friends. Mom life. Okay. But I love these. So you can take any kind of scarf that you have. I love adding something around the base of it. You can take your hair, the end of it, and twist that around, which is really cute. And then just put a bobby pin in that holds it in place. That bobby pin will also sort of help give it some volume too. But that's quick and easy and then I love how just these curls around your face I think it's really flattering but if you want to just zhuzh it up a little bit I love a good silk scarf you can just tie it around these scrunchies are really nice too I have these in my accessory shop but this has the scrunchie and then it has the silk the pieces coming off of it so it just does the work for you and you're not worrying about it coming untied. So it's just a scrunchie and then I just put it around twice just to make sure that it stays in place and then I love that those go off to the side. You can pull it however you want just to get that top knot nice and messy how you like it, right? Pulling out the front and ta-da! Could not be easier. Remember, doesn't have to be perfect. Your hair can be dirty. I think the key is coming from right here. Just to, at the point of your eyebrow, a little bit further, right? A little bit further down, straight back, taking that chunk, a little top knot. This works on kids, adults. It's just that easy, right? Throw that up in one minute, throw a scarf around it, and you look like you tried real hard, but you didn't, and it's real cute, and I promise it will last throughout the day. I cannot wait to see you guys recreate this. Have an amazing day, and cheers to fabulous top knots.